The reason we contour is to create and emphasize the natural shadows in the face, giving it a more defined or sculpted appearance. Most people don't need okay. to contour every day I'm unless you're a certain this. celebrity with millions of followers on Instagram. My goal when applying contour or any color product to someone's face is to enhance their natural beauty. Not to make them look like a different person now, it should appear natural and well blended. I'm going to show you how to accomplish that right now. My first model has a beautiful beige complexion. For her skin tone, I've chosen Latte, which is the lighter of the two Chroma Fusion contour shades. Now, to help me determine where I will apply the contour, I like to figure out what her face shape exactly is. And I would say she has a square face shape. For a square face shape, the goal of the contour application will be to elongate and soften the look of her natural contours. I'm not going to blend until I'm finished applying the contour. That way, you can really see where it's going. So, I'm going to take my cheek brush and pick up some of the Latte Contour Powder. And the first place I'll apply that is on both sides of her forehead. Next, I'll apply the same shade of contour powder along her jawline. And lastly, right under her cheekbones, or what we also call the hollows of the cheeks, I'm going to have her first make a fish face, just like that, to help me find exactly where the contour should go. When applying in this area, I like to squeeze the brush bristles with my thumb, which is going to help me get a more precise application, just like this. Next, I want to add some color to her cheeks, so I'm going to take Chroma Fusion Blush in Juicy Peach and concentrate that on the apples of her cheek in a small circular motion. Applying it this way to a square face shape actually helps to soften the jawline. Then I'll sweep highlighter in Glazed on the center of her forehead, the tip of the chin, and on top of the cheekbones. Now I need to blend all of this together. I'm going to use an all over powder brush to do this and sweep it right around the face where I apply the products to make sure all of the products are well blended and look very natural. And she's done. She was already beautiful before I started, but now that beauty is only enhanced. Now, my next model has a more oval face shape and has a gorgeous bronze complexion. For her skin tone, I'm going to use Coco, which is the darker of the two contour shades. Oval face shapes tend to be more long than wide. So the goal of the contour application is to create a more balanced ratio. That means minimizing the forehead and creating more emphasis on the center of the face. So to start, I will apply the contour right below the cheekbones using the cheek brush. Like I did on the first model, I'm going to squeeze the brush bristles together like this, just to help get the most accurate placement of the color right on the face. For cheeks, I'm going to use Chroma Fusion Blush in Wineberry. The application for her is different from a previous model due to the oval face shape. For her, I'm going to apply the blush to the apples of the cheeks and also sweep towards the temples. Lastly, I'm going to take the Chroma Fusion Highlighter in Honey Glow using a clean cheek brush and apply that to the forehead and then onto the chin. Again, this application is to bring the emphasis right to the center of the face. Now, before I blend all of this together, let's take a look at where I applied each product for the best results based on her face shape. To blend, I'm going to use an all-over powder brush and go through with circular motions and make sure it all looks very natural. You don't want to blend so much that you wipe off your hard work, but just a light circular motion. I like to step back and take a look from a little bit of a distance and see if I need to go back and make any adjustments. I think she looks great. You see, contouring does not have to be difficult. I use the same tips that are available for you on the second appointment placement. 
It doesn't need to take hours in front of the mirror, and you don't have to be a professional to do it. All you need is the right product, the right tools, and since you're already in Color Confident, you're getting all the education you need to be like the pros. So keep it up. I can't wait to see what you do with all your new found expertise. <laughs>